Hey guys, Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com. Now morphing into boats into hotwater.com. As you can see out on Hilton Head Island, we have a pretty windy day out here. As you guys can see, the sailboaters are out in full force. Good for them and God bless them and safe travels. And uh, we've been meaning to do this for a while. And I'm going to try and work this camera at the same time and take the shakiness out in editing. <clears throat> but I'm meaning to get this 89 Mako 261 out on the water. I've had her on the water, but never had my video camera. As we all know, you've seen the pictures in the previous video. She cleans up beautiful. You can make it your own. Uh, GPS map 740S stereo system. Uh, working gauges. Uh, VHFs. The boat could use a little bit. Uh, maybe an update on a couple pieces of the wood, although it looks fun and teak looks good. Uh, the boat could use a compound, and she's due for bottom paint. But overall, we got the 2000 uh, model Optimax, uh, 200 CXL, POs, and so on and so forth. I can get you the serial numbers. <clears throat> this vessel basically wasn't, in pow wasn't powered, in a sense, until... Uh, after about 10 years in dormant storage until the early 2000s in which being there's no meter on the boat uh, the seller of the vessel uh, said he put about 200 to 225 hours on the motors and they are clean as can be uh, bring a mechanic bring a surveyor do what you got to do as you guys already know brand new fuel lines cables uh, five to six thousand dollars worth of work just recently put into this vessel including brand new uh, Lenko trim tabs. So what we want to do out here today is, um, and the current seller that has the boat, I sold him the boat. And then he put the money into it. Uh, and now basically he hasn't quite decided whether he wants to go bigger or smaller yet. Reasonable offers will be considered, uh, but he is impressed to sell to give the boat away either. If this is a boat you desire and you dream for, a uh, beautiful Mako 261 hull uh, that will give you all the performance that you need and you can make her your own. You're more than welcome to her. Um, sea trial is always uh, available and of course uh, an approved offer has to be in place. What I want to show you is we're going to take it out uh, and I am just going to try and work throttles and go through and go with, see where our RPMs are at. Um, and just kind of get it get it up on plane i'm not going to really not going to really mess with the trim tabs or do too much so what we're going to do is we're going to start out just basically we're going to get up around the bend here all right trims down Let's see, I think we got a clear open shot from here. Let's take her up a notch. Fuel gauge. Telling us we got fuel tank, although I see that float jumping around. Let's sync up these throttles a little bit. Let's take it up to 3,000 RPMs. All right, we got 21 knot speed. I'm going to ride it at that. This is basically going to be cruising. We're planed out. Basically playing out about 18, 20 knots. I feel like I'm being like a bow. Let me just adjust this a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Oh, maybe a little too much. All right, those trim tabs are touchy. All right, 3,000 RPMs at about 25 knots. Nice and simple. Water's not too rough, and we are hitting in the wind. So you guys can hear the engine. Just a nice ride. Let's take it up to 4,000. Oh, let's check it out. Right. 
1,000 RPMs. The motors are quiet, efficient. I'm not yelling into the camera. So this would be your conversation that you would be having with somebody. Basically 31 knots. And let's take it up another notch. Going into the wind, 4,800 RPMs, 36 knots. I'll put you guys right on the engine. all the way down. Now, I may have some different specs on the site that the seller had given me, but that's where I've run it up to. It's about 4,800 RPMs and you guys saw the speed. She's a good boat. She's a solid boat. And I think what I'm going to do is I... Well, let's just take her through a turn. I think I'm going to take her over to Palmetto Bluff for a minute. I'm going to ride her out for about another half hour, 45 minutes. Make sure no alarms come on and make sure she's good to go. Anyway, Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com. On this 89 Mako 261. Good running boat. Make her your own. Rob signing off.